step aside, bedtime stories, because in today's cartoon story joke, we're about to dive deep into a real life flood saga that rivals Noah's Ark. Picture this, 7,500 years ago, the Black Sea was a freshwater paradise, complete with fertile farmland the size of Florida. But when the Mediterranean decided to expand its borders, chaos ensued. As the Med inched northward, it breached the Bosporus, unleashing a deluge that flooded the Black Sea Basin with a force akin to Niagara Falls on steroids. Imagine Manhattan submerged under twice the height of the World Trade Center, with a roar audible 100 miles away. Talk about a spectacle. But the drama didn't end there. Alongside the rising waters, Black Sea farmers fled for higher ground, possibly sparking the dispersion of Indo-European languages. It's a reminder that even ancient history holds tales of human resilience and environmental upheaval. And the intrigue doesn't stop with the flood itself. Archaeological evidence suggests settlements from that era sit a remarkable 150 feet above sea level, hinting at a prudent response to impending disaster. It's a captivating glimpse into the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations and the enduring impact of geological events. Plus, scientists have confirmed this epic flood through sediment cores and geological analysis adding another layer of certainty to this fascinating chapter in Earth's history. Now brace yourselves for a journey through Noah's comedic misadventures in ark-building bureaucracy. Just recently, the Holy One above visited our homeland. The air hung heavy with crime as murmurs of escalating trouble reached even the heavens. With a whisper carried on the wind, the Almighty outlined a task at hand for Noah. The task was simple built another ark and shelter two of every living being, including a handful of mortal living. Here is the layout of the ark, and you should make heist because in a half year, the never-ending rain will start for 40 days and 40 nights, said the Lord. A half year later, tears clung to Noah's cheeks, reflecting the drowned sky as he stared at the empty yard. He had built no ark, only loss. Noah, where is the ark? He roared. Noah pleaded, Please forgive me, Lord. Progress has been made and things have changed. So, Noah started with the endless explanation of the non-existing ark. According to the building inspector, I need a building permit, and he insists I install a sprinkler system to deter fires because of safety hazards. He's serious, I think. Who knew building an ark in my backyard was a zoning violation? according to my neighbors. Should I have gone with a minimalist canoe instead? I hear those are all the rage among hipsters these days. Then the Department of Transport insisted on a mortgage to cover any financial burden of building the Ark and to clear the passage for the Ark's move to the sea. I argued that the sea would come to us, but then I got looks of confusion. But getting the wood was another setback. Cutting of trees is another ban to save the tree creatures. So once again, I explained to the environmentalists that the reason of cutting of the trees was to save any tree creatures, and yet again, they did not buy my story. Then I started gathering the animals. PETA shows up with megaphones, accusing me of running a floating zoo prison. So the environmental department wants an impact study on a flood by building a boat to escape it. And I am trying to resolve a complaint with the Human Rights Commission on how many minorities I am supposed to hire on my construction crew. They want union carpenters who can sniff out gopher wood from a mile away and caulkers who can walk on water. To put the cherry on top of the cake revenue services have frozen all my assets, saying that I am illegal in this country as well as a danger to their kind. I am asking for forgiveness, my lord, but it would take a decade to finish this arc. Suddenly, the storm took a dramatic exit, leaving a bright yellow sunshine that stretched over the sky. Noah asked the Lord, Are you not going to destroy the world? The Lord answered, No. The government has beaten me to it. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>